Back here is an eye-opening statistic, at least it was for me. <laughs> According to Money Magazine, over her lifetime, the average woman will spend $15,000 on makeup. Well, I can see it, and that kind of cash has fueled an industry of knockoffs and counterfeits of many popular luxury products. While the prices are right, as consumer investigator Danielle Serino shows us, the consequences of these products can be pretty ugly. $40 for a Chanel lipstick, 88 for Tom Ford foundation, or how'd you like dropping $100 for Surratt eyeshadow? It's no wonder some ladies looking for glam bypass department stores for social media sites that openly advertise knockoffs or head to flea markets where counterfeiters sell fakes in plain sight all around the world. I took the opportunity to get fake versions of all the actual expensive makeup products I want. Because let's be real here, who the hell has enough money to buy real versions of all of these? That's why, as quickly as law enforcement confiscates the fakes, they show up again. In fact, Cleveland is one of the top five ports for seizures. The problem isn't the loss of revenue, it's the fact that people are going to die or get hurt using the fake cosmetics. Think he's exaggerating? Well, this is what happened to a woman in Africa after using a counterfeit moisturizer. The same with this woman in the UK. My eyes were really puffy and um, could hardly see, so I had a bit of a squint. And once I did wash my face properly, you could see all the redness and the dry skin underneath. It was really horrible to look at. Here's a woman, also from the UK, who used a fake designer lipstick. And Los Angeles beauty blogger Sarah Tanya looked like this after using a counterfeit designer eyeshadow. I have an eye infection, and it's just progressively gotten, like, um, more irritated through the day. The problem is so pervasive that Netflix recently made a documentary on the dangers called Broken. Counterfeits have tested positive for known carcinogens, horse urine, super glue. I was tugging my lips, trying to pull them apart, and it hurt. But don't just take their word for it. When my colleague bought a MAC foundation from a random website, it arrived from China. She sent it to Global Testing Lab, Princeton Consumer Research in the UK. And what they found? Not very pretty. Large quantities of lead, aluminum, mercury, and rat droppings. There are lots and lots of banned substances going in to make these products. So how do you spot the fakes? Well, when something like a MAC foundation that normally sells for $38 is online for four, you're not getting the real thing. Inconsistencies in packaging are also a giveaway, as well as misspellings. And a bad smell is a bad sign. Products from China have a very petroleum-based smell. Uh, if they're using paint thinner, you're going to smell that in the merchandise. And if you smell this one, yeah, you oh. see. So here's the deal. All of us like a discount, but these kind of savings are a pretty high price to pay just to look good. I am not encouraging you to buy fake makeup and use it on yourself. It's very dangerous. I am just a risk taker. Now, lest you think your only alternative is to pay those high prices, know that most of the brands are all owned by the same companies. For example, I buy L'Oreal mascara at the drugstore for $8. They own Lancome, which sells nearly the same product for $27 at the department store. Add in the rewards programs you can get from drugstores or beauty retailers, you'll not only be pretty, but smart.